been restated, maybe. In your opinion, what are two or three of the most important priority areas, in quotes, in math, and what evidence, if any, do we have that today's high school graduates are inadequately prepared in those areas? Uh, you, you've talked a lot about setting priorities among the standards, and uh, I, I think they're saying what are, what are some examples of high priority areas, and are those areas in which you, as a 13th grade teacher, uh, find your students uh, prepared or not prepared today? Fractions. Fractions. Okay, that's the key word. Um, if you look at the ACT survey of math faculty in colleges, the highest ranked item that they want students to know coming into college is how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. And getting back to the teacher preparation, elementary school mathematics is incredibly sophisticated mathematics. It's difficult it's sophisticated, and how people are, well, first off, I don't think most of the people who teach that are actually taught the mathematics correctly at the level of sophistication that it has to be in order to communicate it correctly to students. So I, even though I'm a 13th grade teacher and I should be worried about what happened in the 12th grade, I very quickly sank down to elementary school when I got involved in education because that's the foundation. You don't know arithmetic, cold. It doesn't matter what else you learn. It doesn't matter how many time, how many years of calculus you take in high school. You're still going to be in remedial math when you go to college. Remind me, Steve, or someone, because I'm so old I forget these things. Uh, manipulating fractions in those ways, is that around sixth grade in the typical uh, fourth, third, fourth? Fourth, fourth, fourth. 